Now, UBS is preparing to cut more than half of Credit Suisse, the Credit Suisse workforce um, that it uh, bought. This starts next month as a result of that uh, emergency takeover, forced takeover. Bankers, traders, and support staff in Credit Suisse's investment bank in London, in New York, and in some parts of Asia are expected to bear um, the brunt of these cuts with almost all activities at risk, according to people familiar um, who talked to Bloomberg. News. Let's get right over to Shanali Basic right now. She's got uh, a little bit more detail here. And Shanali, we, we expected obviously some cuts to come, but now we're looking at uh, half of Credit Suisse's workforce, more than half. Yeah, I think the language there is very important. Half of Credit Suisse's workforce for the combined entity here, UBS Credit Suisse, it's about 30% of the total, about 35,000 jobs, according to our colleagues reporting really from across the world. And remember, this is about a, a very significant reduction here of investment banking staff as well. Credit Suisse had a massive investment bank with a risk tolerance that was not quite the same at UBS. So it'll be interesting to see what the new combined entity seeks to do in the market. But it's very sensible that both in a downturn in the markets relative to a very big boom cycle, as well as a ton of overlap, Matt, and then you add in any attrition that you also might get on the heels of any potential overlap that there is when it comes to Credit Suisse and UBS staff, it's certainly a lot of jobs about to hit the market. Lastly, the way that this will be done, according to people familiar, is three rounds of job cuts this year, with the first round expected by the end of July and two more rounds tentatively planned for September and October. So certainly through October, through the end of the year, there will be kind of a lot of communication with staff, plus probably a lot of conversations across Wall Street and global finance. So. Um how will bankers have um, been prepared for this, Schnally? I mean, as I said, you know, we knew there would be cuts, and I, am, I imagine uh, most bankers at Credit Suisse have already dusted off their CVs and sent, it off to, sent them off to headhunters. Yeah, if I had to kind of explain to you what's going on underneath the surface, it certainly sounds like a flurry, doesn't it? You have conversations going on all over the place, but if you look across all of Wall Street, you do see marginal hiring, but you don't see hiring at full scale. We know that a lot of other banks are also laying people off in second or third rounds at this point. There's some certain there's certain parts of the businesses there that will never come back in the force that it had the last couple of years. SPACs, for example, Credit Suisse is a huge SPAC banker. It's not that we've seen a ton of that activity or a lot of the bankers doing that anymore. But all I'm saying here is that some of the activities that we were very used to the last couple of years are not going to be the same things that banks are taking on in the future. So there will be a little bit of reinvention going on here as these traders and bankers look to find new jobs. All right, Chinali, thanks very much. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Uh, I, I want to uh, just look quickly at what's going on in terms of uh, the markets right now, in terms of um, the share prices. UBS, uh, for example, uh, was up uh, just a tiny bit in Swiss trading. UBS SW is uh, the ticker there, but of course the shares trade here in the U.S. as well. So I'll take a look at uh, those shares. You can see they're up 1.6%. Um, 1988, the level there. It's it's interesting, you know, we have seen um, uh, this forced takeover, and a lot of people have um, called it a gift to UBS in a sense, although um, they were reluctant to do it at first. Shanali, uh, how, how does it look now as if UBS got a deal um, with all the government guarantees they were offered alongside the, the price tag for Credit Suisse? It does look like a deal. There were certain things that were very clear deals, those guarantees that they got that were very hotly contested. But there's something else to consider. It's the execution of this deal itself. There's a JP Morgan analysis of the worry about the erosion in the wealth assets. The Wall Street analysts, investors will have a very, very, very close eye on what happens to credit Credit Suisse's wealth business as it combines with UBS. So as we see these job cuts, and again, like I said, attrition on top of those job cuts, there's a wonder on what clients stay on board and what clients also start to move around the world as well. That's going to be this challenge for Sergio Armati and Colm Kelleher as this plan goes along. You're seeing shares up to the point because there will be a lot of synergies also. There's a ton of duplication. These are two major Swiss banks with a lot of similar businesses businesses are fierce competitors. But with that said, uh, some of this will help keep a handle on costs and gain scale for UBS so long as they can execute this and not lose too many key people along the way and key clients.